Hello everybody and welcome to this everyday makeup routine. First, we're going to start with this coffee bean caffeine eye cream that I got in a birch box. I put that all under my eyes and I find that works a lot better than this other eye cream that I have from Benefit, uh, the Puff Off or something like that. It works a lot better and it smells like coffee which is a plus. And then we're going to take my CeraVe, I could be pronouncing that wrong, moisturizer and putting that all over my face. It's normally for dry skin so it's kind of very thick and oily but I kind of like it. Now we're going to take my professional from Benefit and I love this stuff so much. I put that all over my face and then we're going to take my baby lips from Dr. Rescue menthol type. I don't remember what shade or color that is in but I put it on. Then I take my beauty blender and put on my Bobbi Brown foundation which is in natural tan and it's the um, SPF 15 one. I don't know. But I blend that all into my face. Normally I put on concealer before I do it, but I forgot while I was filming, so yeah. Natural tan is now a little too dark for me, so I think I have to go with natural, but when I was tanned, it worked. Um, and then we're going to take my Derma Blend, I want to say is what it's called, Quick Fix Concealer in beige and put that under my eyes. It's kind of a thick concealer, um, but, and I, I know that's bad for you guys, but it, this is the only concealer that I have, and I'm kind of scared to try other makeup. Um, somebody recommended it to my mom because apparently it's really good for ac uh, cystic acne, so that's why she bought it. And then we're going to take the beauty blender and blend it all out. It's going to look lovely. And now I'm just blending it still. Um, I kind of like to use the beauty blender instead of a brush because I feel like the beauty blender and my fingers work better. And then I'm going to take some more foundation and put it on my forehead because I didn't put any on. Normally when I have acne on my forehead, which is the main spot that I have it, I kind of avoid putting on foundation first and then I do concealer. Or no, foundation. I put on concealer and then I do foundation. That is what I meant to say. We just sat there for now I'm going to take my Real Techniques contour brush and my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil medium deep matte bronzer and put that on my face and contour it. Um, it looks harsh right now but normally I blend it out. I kind of just use a beauty blender and kind of use my fingers and brush to blend it out. I like to make my cheeks dark and then kind of finish it and blend it just kind of started off really dark so that I know where I have to blend it out um, but yeah that's me blending and then I take my hands and blend it and then I also take the angled brush the detailed brush I don't remember what it's called but I put that I use it for my nose and because uh, I have such a flat nose I like to use that to blend it out and then I take the buffer brush or the buffing brush and buff it all together and make sure that no there's no harsh lines um, and then I will take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color uh, or shade Yogurt and put that in the corners of my eyes so that they brighten them up. I use my fingers to blend it out because the pen is also creamy that I would never know if I put enough on. Um, yeah, pretty much. And then I'm going to take my Anastasia uh, brow pencil that I got in a bridge box which you can go and subscribe to bridge box using my invite code in the description down below and also I've never gotten my eyebrows done so if they look bad yep I've never gotten them done before now I'm taking my they're real by benefit uh, lash mascara or something I don't remember um, but it's the mascara <laughs> I don't know what it's called at all and I have it right in front of me but I'm just not gonna get it because I'm lazy like that yeah but I love this uh, mascara when I first got it I didn't think it was like all that but then I kept using it and trying it out and now I understand why people love it so much it's one of the best mascaras that I've ever gotten and I will definitely be buying this all the time I kind of just apply as many coats as I want or until like I think it looks good but now my face is done, my hair, I'm just going to take it out of the pony and flick it and finish it. But uh, thanks for watching and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and if you want, you can subscribe. But thank you so much for watching. That's the end of this video. Bye!